Hi again then guys and welcome to yet another speed tune. This is I think the third one I've had to do in GT Sport alone for the Tomahawk X Vision GT car because of course updates in the game have sent the car all over the place. It was doing 400 before on Lamar even with the wings still up. Then the update dropped it to like 278 had to readjust it for that, and now with the 1.36 patch we can put the wings down, engage boost, that kind of stuff. So the speed is up again. Now we've got it back up to 414, I have no doubt that it will continue to be refined and made even quicker, so this is just for now, we'll probably revisit this again in the future. So as far as the upgrades go, of course there's nothing much you can do to it, you don't want to increase the weight really. Traction control is down to you, but I would recommend having it turned off. For the tyres, I would recommend super softs for, of course, maximum grip. For the suspension, the lowest rear ride height and the highest on the front. As far as the frequency, I would recommend going as high as possible. That makes it much more precise and also more stable through corners. For the anti-roll, we've got that all the way up on 10 for the same reason. For the compression and the rebound on the dampers, you want those set as low as they can go with neutral toe. Unfortunately, you cannot adjust the camber because you don't really need it in this car, but as I said, there's not much you can do about that. Likewise with the downforce, but thankfully you can, of course, now put the wings down. As far as the diff, I would recommend the lowest settings on all three. That makes it a little bit smoother through the corner as well, not quite as twitchy. And finally for the gearbox, which is of course where the magic is, I'd recommend, of course, the fully customized transmission. That goes without saying. The auto setting, I've put at 391 miles per hour. Then for the individual gears, 4480, 2675, 1800, 1275, 950. Then for sixth all the way to the right, seventh all the way to the right, and the final drive of 3.05. Now technically you could go up to 3.1 if you want to, I wouldn't recommend going all the way down to 3 though because it's a little bit more sluggish than it needs to be essentially. So that's it for the updated tune, now of course what you want to see is the car in action. So it's nice to finally be able to actually use the boost system as well on this car, not just putting the wings down but that pneumatic, uh, pneumatic even boost as well. As far as the performance goes, as I said, 414 is the cruising speed. It does that in fifth gear, which is similar to my Gran Turismo 6 spec tune. It's not quite as quick as that one was, even if you use the same tune. It could do like 420 before, so it has still dropped a little bit compared to the previous game, but that's not too surprising. That car was also more powerful, so not bad considering. Overall though, if you do use this tune, I hope of course you have a ton of fun with it. You will win plenty of races with it, especially at the moment. Of course, over the coming months, it will become less effective because more people will be using the tune and refining it even more. But for these first few weeks in particular, you'll get a ton of use and probably a ton of wins out of this tune as well. So use it while it's its most effective. And of course, check out the playlist here on screen to see all of my other tunes as well. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.